and another fight with step bandit another step bandit group I will probably stop recording these fights with them with bandits maybe I'll show a few more bandit layer raids because they're really always practically the same just charge in and that's it sorry if I get quiet suddenly because I really try to I try to concentrate on fighting because I that doesn't seem to help much but hey here we are these fights are re these fights are really short and boring I think so I'm thinking I'm gonna stop showing them I haven't found the, the bandit player yet just continuing recruiting So here we are, I found the bandit layer. So I'll try to clean it out. I think it might be also the last bandit layer that I will show. Because maybe they are more interesting, but they always proceed the same way. Maybe I'll show other bandit layers in the future, but I don't think so. I already showed a lot of bandit layers in the earlier videos. Okay, we have Rolf and no Catherine. Well, the last time Catherine was the only one that was good for something. Let's hope this time they all they're not gonna die because if that will happen I'll blame the recording and uh, my inability to concentrate while recording and talking because usually I clean the clean these bandit layers very easily at least, at least that's how I will. That's what I will tell myself. Oh. Here, here it is again. I just magically got damage from from nowhere. He was just besides me and I was taking damage really strange I think it might be a glitch or maybe it's a feature I don't know maybe it happens in the multiplayer but I don't think so I've played multiplayer for quite some time and I don't remember encountering this thing. Although, in, to be fair, in multiplayer you get killed pr pretty quickly. You don't have a time to... Most of the time you don't have... 
you don't you won't be able to see what killed you at least at least that's how I played it there was just too much adrenaline I guess still alive. How wonderful. Go Rolf. It's usually um, in my other games I never did I never had Rolf as a support character medic or otherwise because he starts with a really high really high skills uh, combat skills and strength and agility he's a very good fighter maybe that's why I made him into a medic because I remember thinking that it might be a good idea to have a really good fighter turned into medic because he will be able to, I won't have to I won't have to give him many combat skills just concentrate on his support skills and it, he will be fine because if you try to do a medic out of the obvious characters like Yeremus who starts with uh, medic skills but his combat skills are really low so he you need to spend some skills to make him at least half decent fighter yeah this this bandit layer is, requires a lot of running around. crappy gear and we'll get um, a bit of a um, reprieve from a bandit from from endlessly spawning bandits but for not not for too long I think hey that's a good group to attack I'll come back to them I think I need to get to the city first it's okay I will continue recruiting maybe occasionally fighting bandits and if something happens that's associated with other lords or any uh, wars I will record it so I decided to go deeper into Vagar lands and to hunt for some bigger lords because they were in a war with North for a long time so most of their uh, lords will be would be very easy and I cat and I caught one I thought he would run he would hide in the castle but I was able to chase him before he ran into the castle he has uh, around 45 or so 
troops of medium quality so it won't be any problem for me uh, oh another thing that happened Kyrgyz and Saranids um, ended their war so I'm just waiting for Kyrgyz to declare war on me it shouldn't be too long and Saranids declare war, declared war on Nords it, I think it's because that lord that I turned down um, joined the Nord faction with, the, with one of the towns deep in Saranid lands so that's why Serenids declare war on the Nords. Yeah, you're not a king. Yeah, he has 49. Once again, leave the support. Okay, there are uh, there. I think we'll just charge with with all our troops. It blocked me. killed anything. That's not good. There you go. Come on. I lost one warrior. I need them. How did I lose him? Where, the, where are they coming from? Oh, that's not good. I, I really don't understand. Oh, yeah. such an idiot I didn't tell them to charge well, that was stupid as hell uh. I lost three just because of that stupid mistake well doesn't matter really because he had some good prisoners. Do I release someone? Nah. Nah, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. As always, nothing of interest. He was running to this castle. And that's the city. That's the... The city is the reason for Serenid and Nord war. I think Serenids will take the city back again. 
and um, actually Vigors managed to take this town from Nords. I didn't expect them to. I that's why I'm going into their lands to see. Maybe they have a decent army. Maybe I should take care of the marshal in the in any war. Try to catch their marshal, the faction marshal first, and maybe a king, because if you defeat their marshal, they cannot assemble a big army. Their lords are will be, will be running around on their own. So maybe their their marshal with the whole army is really weak and I can find them and maybe separate and defeat Marshall. We'll see. Here we are near the Vager capital and I'm actually thinking about attacking their king if I can take if I could take him prisoner Vegas I think Vegas will make peace with me but he has 240 troops they are pretty decent pretty decent troops he doesn't have too many top the elite troops but he has like horsemen and infantry are right next to the top the second best ones I think I'll try to take them on with my 85 troops but I have a lot of knights that will be heavily in my favor okay we'll see how it goes yeah okay everybody after me support goes way back do you have any archers? I have some archers and infantry. Oh, come on. Now, how should we proceed? advantage over me okay cavalry attack started losing something but that's unavoidable because it's a king we are fighting okay follow me No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. That's pretty chaotic battle. I could have, I could have organized it better. Well, I'm pretty out of touch with this game right now because I haven't been playing it for a better part of the year. I always come back to it eventually, but. Yeah, we have one, but at what cost? Oh, eight killed. That's not too bad. Oh, we still have to fight them again, but it's a They are on the other side of the river. I think they will stay on that hill. They won't move. That's fine. I think they have a lot of marksmen. Marksman are uh, not that Marksman are, are not scary. Just the main thing is just to close to them really fast okay that was easier than the first time I still lost one but I have their king which is very good Guard, Knight, Marksman, Horseman, Archers, and these ones. Hmm. No. Nothing that I, I or my companions could use. That will be enough. Oh, we have a lot of upgrades. Yeah, I think it was worth fighting them. I didn't lose too many. 
that was a good fight now let's try to go back to our city dump all the prisoners and maybe try to negotiate truce hopefully here is another Vagia Lord I already fought him once it's Voldrat my buddy I will I hope I will catch him yeah I did Uh, and uh, by the way, Vagirs and Nords made peace. So my situation is actually becoming quite quite dangerous because Kyrgyz will definitely attack me any day now and I should really try to finish this war with Vegas as soon as possible but I have a feeling that they won't let me I don't think I will lose anyone. Yeah. There's someone trying to escape. frame rate drop oh my god sorry dude <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens well they managed to escape that's alright I didn't lose anyone a couple of guys wounded. Yeah, I will take you prisoner. Why not? Nothing good, as always. There are some deserters. I will leave them just to be a nuisance for the gear lords. Hey, I can even try to catch this one. I think I'll do that. Well, he'll be able to run away into a castle. I don't really know what... Well, I should probably continue recruiting and training troops. But I would really like to make a um, peace with Vegas. Well, we'll see how it goes. And another lord is about to be caught. This time it's Harish. It's really, he has a just a few crappy troops there won't be a problem
but I still need the support just in case. Lost someone? It didn't do anything. Hey, look. Boy, I got rich. Got a javelin into the into his gut. That's it. I got one horseman killed. Okay. Now I'm still waiting for Kajits to declare war on me. They're not at war with anyone else. And by the way, Rodox declared war on uh, Serenids. Everybody else is at war with someone except for Vegas and Kurgits. Vegas is at war with me and Kurgits are not at war with anyone else. That might be a problem, but we'll see. And here's yet another Vega Lord. This time it's Lord Marmoon. And um, the, his army is not very impressive, although he still have has some high level troops, but I don't think there'll be a problem. As always, leave the support behind. Hmm. He's already very close. I think I'll just attack him. Lower level troops are getting owned. There's a bit of lag from somewhere, I don't know, and it keeps me from lining up hits. My troops did all the job for me. No. I don't like losing glances.
that's it. We, we've been useless in this fight, but it doesn't matter. I lost four. Well, okay. Now oh, there's still five of them left. Again, I didn't do anything, but that's fine. My wound escaped, but it doesn't matter. And what we have here. Nothing really useful. Some more lances. And um, give Nazar some skills. What do you have? Do you have a trainer? Yes, you do. Power strike and trainer. That's okay. On let's keep on hunting lords and recruiting troops again. <laughs> 